You might be asked, given a circle on a grid or given the center of a circle and a point on the circle, you might be asked to determine either the circumference or the area of that circle. For either of those formulas, we need to know what the radius of the circle is. So that's where the grid or the graph of the circle comes into play. So first thing we need to determine is the radius. So in this case, I have a circle with center 3, 1 and a point on the circle at 6, 5. So I'm going to determine the radius of this circle, again by using Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to draw in the rise and the run to create a right triangle. So in this right triangle, I have this, let's get rid of that, this length at the bottom is 3 and this length is 4. You may remember that that is going to create a Pythagorean triple. If I went through and did 3 squared plus 4 squared equals r squared, I would end up getting 5. If you don't believe me, you can do the Pythagorean theorem on your own, but 3, 4, 5 is the most commonly used Pythagorean triple that you might see on the regions. So that means my radius for this circle is 5. So I can use that radius to determine the circumference of the circle, which again means the distance around the circle. It's similar to the perimeter of a polygon. So let's start with that. So there are two different formulas for circumference. One is 2 pi r. The other formula is pi d. d represents the diameter. Now the diameter is just 2 times the radius. So this 2 r is equal to d. So that's why these are interchangeably used. So let's use the formula that has r in it since that's what we've already um, determined. So the circumference will be 2 pi and then I'm substituting in our radius 5 for r. Um, sometimes on the regions or even I think sometimes in delta math it asks for your answer in terms of pi. In that case, it means don't calculate pi on the calculator into your answer. Just leave it almost like a variable. So I'm going to multiply the numbers that are not pi. So 2 times 5 would be 10. And then I will just leave pi after the 10. You could also go through and multiply 10 times pi on your calculator and get a decimal approximation if it asks you to round to a specific value. So the circumference of the circle is 10 pi. For the area, so the area formula that we need to know, which is provided for you on the region, so is the circumference formula. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So for this particular area, we just have to substitute in 5 for our radius. So again, I'm going to leave my answer in terms of pi, which means I'm going to keep pi in the answer, and I'm going to just worry about the other non-pi values. So I have to do 5 squared. 5 times 5, I know, is 25. So that means the area of this circle is 25 pi. If a question ever asked you to find the area to the nearest tenth or the nearest hundredth, that's when you would go through and multiply 25 times pi on the calculator and round however it told you to.